Okay, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different. We are going to try to get this 7742 Epic CPU working again. So yesterday I baked it to 265 degrees for about 25 minutes and it worked. It came back on. Um, it ran. I ran a bunch of software on it. No issues. Then I shut it down, turned the power off to hook up these graphics cards. And now it doesn't want to boot again. It's doing the same thing. It just kind of runs, doesn't ever do anything, and then restarts, and then runs, and then restarts. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back out, and I'm going to put it back in the oven, and I'm going to do it for an hour this time, and see if uh, that makes any difference, because it's, it's dead already, but seems to be able to come back to life. So let me pull this out, and we will get bacon here. for 60 minutes so come back in an hour bake baby bake oh yeah all right so it's been about an hour after the oven kicked off it's still pretty warm the plate's still pretty warm it's still let it cool down for a little bit longer so this is kind of like two and a half hours I think that'll do it. Let's see if she turns on. It works! <laughs> it worked again! So let's see if I can get it to uh, boot into Hive OS and mine for a little bit. So obviously there's something to do with the solder on there and when I give it a bunch of heat it works. And then, so what happened last time is it ran, and it ran, and it ran, and then when I, like I said, when I disconnected it from power for like 20 minutes rigging this up, it wouldn't turn back on. So now I'll put it back into the oven and now it posts. So pretty stoked. Let's see what happens now. And it's loading in the Hive OS. Hope I didn't see what that said. There yeah, she goes loading Hive. So that's good. It just, that message just said, so it came up in Hive, but it's missing one GPU. So let's see if we can get that fixed. Okay, I reseated all the plugs and I moved the 3070 from this PCI slot down to the lower one. Let's see if that works. Let's see if it boots again. It's still alive! <laughs> That's so crazy. Here it is. As you can see right there, it's a 7742, 64-4. And now I got these two GPUs going, so I'm stoked. It's back from the dead. I'm gonna throw the fan on the cool on the CPU cooler because I think the issue here is I let this thing hit negative 3C one time. So I accidentally was going through a two hand on the cooling. And it did trip out then, but it booted back up and worked no problem. But shortly after that, that's when I started having problems with this thing. And uh, yeah, maybe it has something to do with the solder in there. So uh, let's get this baby mining. 
There she is, mining away. As you can see all the temps are good. It's happy. Full load, no issues. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Until next time, guys.